In 2035, we might finally observe the creation of the universe. Hooked? Okay, so maybe that's overselling it a bit, but 2035 is the planned launch date for LISA, the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna. LISA is a planned space-based gravitational wave observatory which will be sensitive enough to detect the mergers of supermassive black holes, the in-spiral of stars into such black holes, and potentially the gravitational afterglow of inflation itself, the process that's believed to have kicked off the Big Bang. A gravitational wave is a ripple in space-time itself. Distances grow and shrink as the wave passes by, and they're caused by massive objects moving in non-trivial ways, like giant black holes orbiting each other. Other, more complicated phenomena can also cause them, like inflation, but the end result is always the same, a gravitational wave. So detecting a gravitational wave amounts to detecting the tiniest oscillations in the distance between two fixed objects. On Earth, we do that with instruments like LIGO. I have a video on that linked in the description. But to detect low frequency, and hence long wavelength waves, you really need enormously large rulers. In fact, the Earth isn't big enough. So we have to go to space, and that's what Lisa's for. The core idea is pretty straightforward. Set up three spacecraft, each of which is two and a half million kilometers from the others in a triangular formation. Then shoot lasers between the spacecraft, forming the sides of an equilateral triangle. Finally, make precision measurements of the distance the lasers travel to detect gravitational waves as they pass by. The trouble is that the changes in length that need to be measured are absolutely tiny, on the order of the size of a helium atom over the entire length of the arm. So it's not enough to just set up mirrors and bounce lasers back and forth. All external forces need to be eliminated, and distances need to be measured to subatomic precision. So that's what the LISA team has developed using a complex system of phase-coupled lasers, freely floating mirrors, telescopes, and a mirror assembly that would intimidate the most seasoned optical physicist. To do so, the distance is measured between the two hosting spacecraft by comparing the phase of an internal laser beam to the phase of the laser beam it receives from the other end of the leg. At the same time, each spacecraft is also measuring the position of the freely floating mirror inside it relative to the rest of the spacecraft, again via precision interferometry. Associated with each leg of the triangle are two freely floating mirrors, one on either end of the leg housed in a spacecraft. The change in distance between these two mirrors is the important data, but measuring this precisely is a bit tricky. Putting these three measurements together, one can determine the relative change in position between the two mirrors. Doing this on all three sides of the triangle allows us to detect gravitational waves from essentially any direction. And with that level of precision available, we might be able to see back to the beginning of time itself. But don't hold your breath, it'll be a long 11 years.